Alright, welcome to the channel, and in this video, what I'm going to be showing you guys is one of the best methods that we can be using right now to be earning AP, which is arena points in the game, which right now arena points in the game are dishing out double cash, double RP, and double AP. So, right here, we got ourselves a ticket booth, and it is located on the outside of the arena, which is... Which you guys better know where the arena is. I'm not going to have to show you that, am I? Alright, but anyways, you guys are going to want to go ahead and pop open your pause menu. Go to options. Set your matchmaking to open. You don't want to have it closed for this one. You can close it later if you guys prefer that, but whatever. Alright, so... The ticket booth itself does cost like $15 and you guys could use that to do this. But also, if you guys own like, you know, the arena basically, we have a free ability of going in here to the spectator booth which is located right here. So if you guys really don't want to pay that $15 and you just feel like running in here, it's free. So we could just do this instead. Alright, already got my matchmaking set to open. I'm in like an invite only session right now. Doesn't matter. You guys could be doing this in a public session, but this is what we're going to be looking for. This is going to be the best case scenario. And, you know, I'll talk about the worst case scenario too, but the best case scenario is what's going to happen here is it's going to bring us into a job and the job that we want to go into is going to be flag wars, okay? To where there's going to be two teams out there and they are fighting you know, for the collection of the flag to where we can just be in here all by ourselves. No other players are in here with me, which gives me the ability of continuously spinning, you know, the little wheel here, whatever the arena wheel is what we would call it, I guess, and then earning AP, which can get you guys more AP than just playing the game. So let's talk about the money real quick. So it does cost $5,000 to spin this thing. So if we were just to say, well, let's uh, let's spend a million dollars. How many spins do I get for a million dollars? You only get 200 spins. And how many of those spins are actually going to land on AP? I don't know. I'm lucky sometimes with it, but other times I'm not lucky. So like right there, you guys seeing that I just landed on two APs. The first one was like 250, and then the other one was 150, which equals 400 right there just in those two spins back to back which did cost me the ten thousand dollars which you know potentially you guys are going to want to be rich to do this because eventually and potentially it can cost a lot of money especially if you guys you know are looking to do this for the longevity of trying to get up there to like 500 or maybe even a thousand but i'm just gonna let you guys know okay so this can happen right here it's gonna say you know do you want to join you know, like not being a spectator anymore, you want to back out from that, okay? You want to decline that message right there because I'm in a flag wars right now. So these guys are actually going like back to back and trying to win like matches, which is really great because look, there's only one spectator and that's me. And you guys can see that there's like a team of people. As a matter of fact, I don't even know what they're playing in here. It could be, uh, I think it's actually here comes the monsters or something like that. But look, we're just going to go ahead and spawn back down here all by ourselves. Because nobody down there that's going to be getting killed is going to be coming up in here, I don't think. I'm not really sure what game they're playing if it's Flag Wars. Flag Wars is going to be the best, though, because, like, if you die, you're not coming up into the spectator box. You're just going to keep going down there. And, you know, the worst case scenario, too, if you guys have ever come in here, uh, that's one of my friends right there. Uh, if you guys do end up coming in here, you can get this wheel that has, like, none of this stuff on here. All it is is just basically, uh, I don't know, like, using turrets or drones, like, mainly just drones or something like that. You definitely want to probably back out of that. And then, of course, try to avoid, like, lobbies or I would say these spectator boxes that have a gob of people in them. There are tons of people right now that are trying to do exactly what I'm trying to do right here is just consecutively spin the wheel and hoping, crossing my fingers, that it will land on AP and or RP, which you guys can be getting some other things out of here. Obviously, the worst things are going to be like free spin. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, you know, and then also we have the turrets and then, you know, what else is there? RC car, pretty crappy. And then who really wants cash, especially when you're rocking like as much money as I am, you know, $380 million. I just want either the AP or the RP, but mainly I'm just after the AP. And right now I'm like close to level 125 or I'll be hitting 125 today, which doesn't put me much any closer to that space docker, which is actually... 
500. You have to hit arena level 500, and I know there's got to be somebody out there that's done it, but that's really asking a lot from somebody of really having no life and consecutively just boring the crap out of yourself playing arena war because this does get stale. There's only so many different missions that you guys can be doing. And if you do end up participating, yeah, you can be getting the double cash, double RP, and double AP. And then also, if you die like this, you do get the free spin. So that spin right there doesn't cost anything. And then particularly, you can just come back into the room right here, which there is a majority of people. And I think everybody's maybe trying to get to the wheel, maybe not. It depends on because, you know, for a lot of low-level players, I wouldn't expect them to be doing this because, you know, once again, it does cost $5,000 a pop to spin this. But, you know, eventually you guys have already owned your businesses. The game's already 10 years old. So there are a lot more players out there that are well more established than there are new players coming into the game, I think, these days. Uh, you know, to where they actually have millions, if not billions of dollars from doing whatever it is that, you know, there is to do in Grand Theft Auto. Which these days in 2023, I would say there's not really much need of doing glitches, these money glitches anymore. Just because of the main fact that the game provides so many great opportunities opportunities now of just making millions of dollars which was never there in year one year one we had no heists we had nothing to go off of except for crappy missions and you know trying to exploit survivals basically is how it was so anyways from there guys this is like one of the best ways that you guys can be getting arena points because i've already proven it that i was able to earn more arena points by going to the wheel here and spinning it than actually participating in the arena but we'll be talking about more ways of making arena points as we continue on the week so if you guys enjoyed the video and was helpful hit like button on the way out subscribe and you guys let me know down in the comment sections below uh, what rank are you here in the arena? Are you a low level? Are you a high level? Me, I think I'm about ready to hit 125, but still, that really is just feels like I'm just in the middle of the desert with that, with those points right there. So anyways, there, guys, thanks for watching. Hope the video was helpful and you're having an awesome rest of the day. My name is Gravesight, Green Alien, and I'm out, so peace!